What's good, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And today, we got some trophies. We got some stats to look at. We got to see where we balling. Hopefully, it's that national championship. Sports Illustrated, they got the homie. Bo Ricks on the cover, talking about late push, baby. We beat the Bowler Makers. That was our last game of the season. There is no Big Ten championship game as of right now in NCAA 06. And that means there will never be one. So we got to handle our business in the regular season. Only loss that we had was to Ohio State. Now, Howard, he's our last recruit. I have never gotten five recruits in in-season recruiting. It's usually three or four. If we get five, that'll be a good day, bro. We are also the Big Ten champions. You see it, baby. That's my first one of those trophies, man. Put that in my trophy case. We talking about trophies. And then Quentin Howard, 6'3", 178. He has signed on the dotted line five in-season recruits, ladies and gentlemen. I said five in-season recruits. That's a first for the big homie, Coach Dawkins, a.k.a. Miles Dawkins, 24 Seven. You know what I'm saying, baby? So, again, we're, we're on that cover. Everybody's talking about Eastern Illinois. Who thought Eastern Illinois would be in the national championship? You know what I'm saying? So, the conference championship. Eastern Michigan, they beat uh, Miami University, Miami of Ohio. LSU, they beat Tennessee, so they're, they're the number one team in the country. Nebraska, they fall to Texas Tech. Virginia Tech, they lose to NC State. And Marshall falls to Tulsa. Offensive line of the year goes to the boy, Big John. John, that's the first time I won that award since my first two seasons in S. A U. This boy has pancakes left and right. He was I hop for real. You know what I'm saying? We also got the Dope Walker Award from the homie Lance James. I told y'all Lance James was nice. I, that's why I wanted to give my boy Andy Welsh a real chance at playing. That's why I put him on defense. It might have been the wrong move, but hey, I was trying to help him out. Okay, my intentions were right. Quarterback of the year. I said quarterback of the year. Ricky Lindsey. That's the second time he done won that thing. He won it his sophomore season. Came back, won it his senior year at as well. Then Ricky Lindsay also won the Maxwell Award. So we're doing big things, man. We're getting trophies. We're getting trophies. We're getting trophies. We will check out those stats. And we're also headed to Pasadena, the Rose Bowl, the granddaddy of them all for the National Championship game versus LSU. That should be a fantastic ball game. I better see y'all there. You feel me, y'all? I better see y'all there. It's going to be a decent game. You know what I mean? It's going to be real decent. All righty. So here we go. Heisman. Did our boy Ricky Lindsay pull it off? If he did, that's a major look. If he didn't, it's all right. It's all right. Maybe we get Lance James a trophy next year. Thank you all for being here. Tonight, we'll find out who wins the most prestigious award in college football, the Heisman Trophy. It's an honor to present this award, which goes to the best college football player in the country. This young man will become a part of NCAA football history. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner of this year's Heisman Trophy. Congratulations. It would have been dope to win that thing, man. We had two guys going up for it, Ricky Lindsey and Lance James, and then it happened. The homie Jim, he got that thing done. He wears number four like Jim Harbaugh did back in the day for the Maize and Blue. The Maize and Blue had two guys going up for it, and LSU's quarterback, who we will be facing, he was going up for it as well. The season stats for Ricky Lindsey, over 2,000 yards passing, 21 TDs and 14 interceptions. Yes, he had a pretty decent year throwing that ball, but he got all those trophies basically for running the football. 18 rushing TDs. Lance James had 19 of those things, so he finished first in the country with 19 rushing touchdowns. Ricky Lindsey was right behind him with 18. Bo Ricks, he did catch 43 passes for 1,016 yards, man. He is a deep threat for real when he can catch the ball. You know what I mean? He's a speed demon. He also had nine TDs. The homie Big John, do you see what he did? He did so many pancakes my homie had. I'm telling you, man, it's IHOP City. Please believe. So Dante led the team in tackles with 54 of them things. And then when it came to field goals, ain't nobody worried about no field goals. But our field goal kicker, he did pretty well. Anyways, man, back to what we talking about. Sacks goes to the homie Walker. Of course, Walker, he's our Ed Rusher. I mean, DN. Pass rusher from the outside linebacker sporting our three fourths. The boy can get after the passer. Matt Walker led the team in INTs with five of them things. Woods, he had three of them things. Woods, he is going to be out for the championship game. So is Campbell. And of course, our boy Brewster, he's been out since like week one. It's been a tough season. So, career stats. Ricky Lindsay completed about 
just just over 50% of his passes for 7,424 yards, 62 TDs, 41 interceptions. Josh Jones, 11 TDs, just two picks. As of right now, he'll probably be penciled in as our starting quarterback, even though we have two four-star recruits coming for next season. Andy Welch still has the most rushing yards as of right now, but, man, I mean, Lance James is 200 behind him. Bo Ricks, 5,000 yards receiving, 45 receiving TDs. The homie Joe Nance had, what, 31 receiving TDs on just, like, 99 catches? Like, that's crazy. Big John, 102 pancakes. Half of those came his senior year of this year. Like, that's crazy, bro. Walker, 29 tackles for loss to lead the, to lead the team so far in his career 21 sacks now it doesn't it does, these, these career stats are only for the people currently on the team it doesn't go way back to when we first started the dynasty which i wish it did but hey it is what it is man all i know is that we're going to that national championship game versus lsu baby it should be a fantastic ball game i hope to see y'all there y'all better be there y'all better like my videos too man share them you know what i mean you, you know what i'm saying all right Anyways, man, hope that the rest of the day is the best of your day. Y'all stay safe out there until you meet again, my friends. Peace. Love. Heart song.